To complement the government's robust efforts to fight against trafficking in persons, the National Assembly on Wednesday passed the Combating of Trafficking of Persons 2023 Bill. Presented by Minister of Human Services and Social Security Dr. Vindia Passat, the bill replaces the Combating of Trafficking of Persons Act of 2005. Now that the bill has been passed, the transportation of anyone across the border for exploitation is an offence that will carry on summary conviction a $5 million fine and up to five years imprisonment. Convicted persons can also have their assets forfeited to the state, whether local or overseas. And among other provisions, the law also allows for restitution to be paid to victims. In her opening address, Dr. Passat said the bill is of great importance to the country as it will impact the lives of many. She reminded the National Assembly that the government is committed to the robust, strong legislation which forms part of the arsenal against trafficking in person. Today, we all have the opportunity to support this bill, which strengthens Guyana's response to trafficking in persons. This is a robust, comprehensive piece of legislation constituted of key measures synonymous with international best practices and our dynamic socio-political needs. According to Dr. Passat, the legislation consists of many stringent measures envisioned to bring more perpetrators to justice, give voice to victims, and more importantly, restore a fundamental human right. This piece of legislation that is being considered here today definitely espouses not only the punitive measures, but that the law is really wide reaching or far reaching and will definitely encompass many of the offenders. This legislation provides a robust framework for justice to be meted out and for victims to get their lives back. Enshrined in this legislation are many austere measures which should serve to not only apprehend the perpetrators, but to deter persons from being complicit in trafficking in persons. It also gives that assurance to those who are experiencing trafficking in persons and those who have experienced being trafficked that there is a commitment to help them to move on in a safe way with their life. The modern piece of legislation was passed with one amendment. Clause 13 one reads, a body cooperate which commits an offense under this act is liable on conviction on indictment, a fine of $10 million was amended to read a fine of not less than $10 million and not more than $15 million. According to the explanatory memorandum, the bill provides more comprehensive measures to combat trafficking in persons in keeping with international best practices and changing socio-political needs. Part 2 of the bill sets out criminal offenses and those offenses have an extraterritorial effect. The bill also outlines that a counter-trafficking in persons unit shall be responsible for protecting and assisting victims of trafficking. It also works with other relevant agencies. The president, based on part 6 of the bill, shall also establish a ministerial task force comprising various stakeholders to help with the protection of people, collecting and publishing data, training law enforcement officers, and conducting public awareness. Several provisions were also outlined for investigation and court procedures that are meant to provide better services to victims while more efficiently combating the issues. Reporting for the newsroom, Shardabakas.